praise the Lord. Let me see you wave your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you leap for joy. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you clap your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stomp your feet. And if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you wave your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you leap for joy. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you clap your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stop your feet. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you wave your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you leap for joy. Leap for joy, leap for joy, leap for joy, leap for joy, leap for joy. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you clap your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stomp your feet. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you wave your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you leap for joy. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you clap your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stomp your feet. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you wave your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you leap for joy. Leap for joy. Leap for joy, 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 leap for joy. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you clap your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stop your feet. And if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you wave your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you sing for joy. I, I gotta praise, I gotta praise, and I gotta let it out. And I gotta praise, thank you, Jesus. I gotta praise, I gotta praise, and I gotta let it out. I gotta praise, I gotta praise. I gotta praise and I gotta let it out. I gotta praise. I gotta praise. I gotta praise and I gotta let it out. I gotta praise. And if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you clap your hands. And if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stomp your feet. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you wave your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you leap for joy. Leap for joy, 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 leap for joy. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you clap your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stop your feet. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you wave your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you leap for joy. And I, I gotta praise, I gotta praise, and I gotta let it out. I gotta praise. I, I, I gotta praise. I gotta praise and I gotta let it out. I gotta praise. I gotta praise. I gotta praise and I gotta let it out. I gotta praise. And if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you clap your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stop your feet. 
you're not ashamed to praise the Lord. Let me see you wave your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you leave for joy. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, then let me see you clap your hands. And if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stomp your feet. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you wave your hands. And if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, then let me see you leave for joy. I gotta praise, I gotta praise, and I gotta let it out. I gotta praise. I, I gotta praise, I gotta praise, and I gotta let it out. I gotta praise. I, I gotta praise, I gotta praise, and I gotta let it out. I gotta praise. this church I thought about you I thought about individuals what God wants to do in your life if you only if you could I mean I'm just telling you the truth if you could just only imagine what God has in store for some of you I'm not all of you I'm just saying not all of you because not all of you want the same not all of you want everything God has for you. But let me tell you this. If you don't get everything God has for you, you're going to walk away depressed, sad. Because he's got amazing things for some of you. Amazing. And it only depends on you. It only depends on you. Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want all God has for you? Oh, my Lord, if we could only imagine. One of the ministers this week said, you're anointed. He said, you're anointed. And I thought, oh, wow, that's 
mine. That's mine. I'm, I'm going to grab that out of the air, and I'm taking it home, and I'm anointed of God. He said, you have an anointing for your city. And I thought, oh, my word, Brother John. He was just telling me that. There was 3,500 people, but, you know, I, I, I knew he was talking to me. He, was, he told me and my husband, you're anointed. And I thought, wow, we got this, buddy. But he turned around and he said, start prophesying. He said, prophesy. I thought, well, bless Patty, I've been doing that. I, prof I talk to myself sometimes. I hope the Lord's in it. But I prophesy all the time. I do. Because I dream huge. I do. I dream huge things. If I told some of you the things I dream, you'd say, lock her up. Because I really see it. I really do. Because I know God's got amazing things for this church. We've only scratched the surface. What if I told you our building's not big enough? I'm sorry. I mean, I know, it, yeah, I know it's nice. What if this is not our permanent house? What if God said, this house won't hold what I'm going to do? It's not. It's not. It's not going to hold you. God's got amazing things for some of you. You get to praying and quit playing games. Shame on you for playing games. Shame on you for not getting a hold of God when he said pray. Shame on you. It was a sweet rebuke, wasn't it? But I mean it. Shame on you for not praying. Shame on you for not entertaining the presence of the Lord when God wants to do amazing things in your families. So we're going to worship today. I'm just telling y'all this house is coming down today. Y'all believe? It is. It's coming down. Thank you. Thank you. I love the hankies. We had hankies at conference. Brother Anthony passed out hankies and I swung a hanky. <laughs> Better than throwing your shoes. I felt like doing that. <laughs> but we're going to give it all we got this morning and watch God work. You watch God work. You know what I want you to do? I want you to do this. I want you to say, scoot over. Scoot over. We're making room. We got to make room for them. Do you see them? You see them? Do you see the, Do you see your family coming in? Make room for them. Woo, baby, you got to get over a little bit. My kids are right here. Woo, honey, honey, I gotta save that seat. That's where Kate Macy's gonna be sitting. It's where my children are. It's where my family's gonna be. This is where your family's gonna be. This is what God's gonna do in this church. In that day, go ahead and lift your voice. Lift your praises. Give him your praises in his house today. Oh God, we worship you. We worship you.
praise Him. We've come to praise Him. We've come to praise Him. And it is holy name. We've come to praise Him. We've come to praise Him. We've come to praise Him. And lift his holy name. So make a joyful noise. Make a noise, make a noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. You ought to praise the Lord while you have a chance. for it and it's whoa right there it's right there there's my dream I gotta go after it I gotta run wait wait there it is I'm getting my dream I'm going after my dream God gave me that dream and I am not letting nobody take my dream nobody's gonna steal what God gave me and what he showed me and what he told me you ain't gonna get my dream you ain't gonna get my dream I don't care how big and bad you think you are. You ain't getting my dream. I don't care what's said to me or done to me, what people have, whatever's happened in my life. You ain't getting my dream. God gave me that dream. And when God gives me a dream, he ain't no liar. God ain't going to lie to me. He ain't going to tell me something that ain't going to happen. He is not going to do that. He's not like that. I'm going to tell you right now, the word says he's not a liar. He is not a liar. And if he gave me that dream, it's going to happen. It is going to happen. 
I may not know exactly the day that it's going to happen. He didn't tell me all of it. But he did tell me that it would happen. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to get my dreams. Baby, I'm going to get my dreams. And things God speaks to me in my prayer closet. I ain't crazy. I didn't hear noises. I heard the Lord. God told me things that if I told you some stuff, y'all would say, bless her heart. Just bless her heart. She's got big dreams. I do have big dreams. I heard something this week, and it just it just reinforced my spirit, babe. Jack Cunningham was preaching, and he said, Billy Cole. How many of you know who Billy Cole is? Because I'm going to fill you in if you don't know who Billy Cole is. Billy Cole was a prophet of God, a man of God that won tens of thousands. and Yeah, he probably paid, prayed more people through for the Holy Ghost than the Apostle Paul. Billy Cole started churches all over the Philippines. Billy Cole was a, an amazing prophet of the Lord. And Jack Cunningham is his nephew. Jack Cunningham said this. He said, I want every man and woman in this place, 60 and above, to raise your hands. Of course, I'm like, right here. <laughs> We're here, right here. And he said, Billy Cole did more for the Lord. God blessed his ministry in the last 10 years of his ministry than all of his years. Y'all are in for it. <laughs> Y'all are in for it. <laughs> Is that not amazing? I told God, I said, God, I may have 20 left. I may have 25 left, and I may even have 30. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> My husband said, oh, God. Best Elaine Mangan is 92 preaching the word. She's still anointed of God. But I may not have but 25, 30 years left. But I told God, I said, God, if that's all I've got, you go for it. You rise up in me. You anoint me. You speak to me. You show me things. The word says that we will, that his ladies will prophesy. I will prophesy. I'm going to prophesy to this church that he is going to raise up women warriors in this church. He is going to raise up women warriors in this church. And you're not going to take no for an answer. When God speaks, you're going to go to it. You're going to obey him because he's going to use you mightily in the last days. You watch it happen. The ladies of this church are going to rise. You are going to rise and God's going to lay anointing upon you. You will speak with authority of the Spirit. Anointing will come upon you. Anointing will come upon you. It's some of you that have felt weak in the spirit. God says, oh no, baby, you're not weak. You are strong in me. You are strong. You have felt weak for a season. But you will rise and you will see anointing in your life. I will take the things that you have been through. I will take the troubles and the dry bones and the valleys that you have wandered through and I will use those for my glory. And I will anoint you and I will lay my hand upon you. And you will go forth in my name, saith the Lord. Ladies, rise up! Rise up! Ho, he a yo, not a mosata. 
Hayara Balsini Aramanda. He are you. I want my ladies right here. I want the ladies of this church. Not if you don't mean business. If you mean business, I need you right here. Right here. A couple of weeks ago, I'm going to tell you, y'all, yes, yes. A, A couple of weeks ago, the Lord did something, and I didn't understand it. I'll be honest with you, I really didn't understand it. I grabbed Sarah Coates by the arm, and I said, come on, you're with me, come on. And I I pulled her over here, and the Lord spoke to me, and he said, those that follow are with you, and I will anoint them. I'm telling you the truth. It was weird. And I thought, oh, okay. I didn't even want to look around and see who wasn't with me. I'm, I'm not kidding you. I was like, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. And I looked up and I saw some of your faces. And it was the faces I knew would be there. I knew. I knew. But God told me, he said, I'm going to raise them up. And I'm going to anoint them. And they're going to flow with you in the spirit. And I'm just going to tell you right now, keep your mouth shut. Do you hear me, girls? You hear me? You listen to me. You keep your mouth shut. Don't you say nothing that God said that he did not say. You don't do that very dangerous you don't talk about nobody you leave people alone there ain't a perfect person in this church there ain't a perfect person out there we're human and we're trying to get to heaven that's the truth, that's a God's honest truth we're trying I'm trying, you're trying don't you be talking about nobody don't you be messing with people God spoke to me at this conference and he said it's about you me me. I got to do it. I got to do it right. I got to do it right. I got to get me right. I got to get my prayer life right. I got to get my walk with God right. I got to fast. I got to fast. Weight Watchers, I wouldn't even need Weight Watchers. I told my class this morning, if I live for what I need to do, if I did a 40-day fast, I don't even need Weight Watchers. But I'm not. <laughs> I'm just tell you, I'm not doing a 40 day fast. I'm just telling you right now. But God spoke to me. God spoke to me and told me. He said that He's going to anoint these ladies. I've been having Saturday morning prayer meetings and they're going crazy. They, it was amazing yesterday. I'm going to see souls come out of those prayer meetings. Watch. I'm going to see God anoint us for this hour. I'm sick of my four no more, honey. It ain't my four no more. I want every soul. Brother Anthony Mangan said, God, you lead me to the hungry. I ain't messing with people if they ain't hungry. I ain't messing with them. I'm telling you right now, don't go chasing people that ain't hungry for God. It'll frustrate you. It'll make you mad and it'll make you sad and it'll hurt you. I'm going after the hungry. I want hungry people. Bester Lane Mangan said, if you don't start your day out with prayer, you're giving it to the devil. I grabbed that. It was like a nugget to me. I said, God, you know what? That's my nugget. I'm not going to be too busy and hurry up and have to get to a doctor's appointment. And I didn't have prayer time. I ain't doing that no more. No, ma'am. No, sir. We're going to give it to God. So by you coming down here, you're making a confession to me that you're going to pray, that you're going to go to war with me you're going to fight with me, that you're going to give some things to God that you ain't big enough to carry. You try to carry everything. You ain't meant to carry everything. It's not who we are. We're not big enough. Stress takes over. Fear takes over. And then what happens is it destroys everything God wants to do. Now, I ain't laying hands on you. You're going to lay hands on you. God's going to anoint some of you ladies for some purposes that I don't even understand or know. I don't even care. I just want to know he's doing his business. You keep it together. You knot your heart with the king of kings. You give some things to the Lord. Quit trying to handle everything. I mean what I say. You keep your trap shut. You quit saying things you should say. 
hold on to what God wants to do in your life. Now, I want you to grab three women. Three. I want three women to three women. Grab three. Three, 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 three. Well, if we accidentally have four, it's okay. Some people can't count, but oh well. We have a few that don't know how to count, but I don't care. Three, three, four, four, whatever. I don't even care. Just grab. Two, two, three. Right here, we need some partners. Grab some women. Men, back there, point your hands this direction. You're going to have some different kind of wives in this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, under the authority that you have given me, God, I bind the devil that has tried to steal from these ladies of God. You're going to anoint them with purpose. You're going to anoint them with purpose. God, you're going to speak. You're going to use them. You're going to give them visions. You're going to give them dreams. God, you're going to use them.
Hayala basata. Hayala basata. Anoint these ladies, Lord. Hayala basada. Find somebody else to pray with. Find somebody else to lay hands on. Hayala basata. Ha. When you get through, find somebody else. Ha! Ha yala basata yala bahoye. another. Come on, men, pray for one another. Come on, men, find somebody to pray with. Yala Baba 
Hazata. He a Yarabasata Yarabasada Baba Ye. He a Yarabasada Rabada Rabada Boye. He a Yarabasada Yarababa Haya. Hayarabasada. He a Yarabasada Yarabo. Jesus' name. Hayarabasa, Tayarabas, Idiaraboye. Yayaraba, Yarabasata. Oh, Yarabasa, no, 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 he a yarabo sada yarabo baho sata. He a yarabo sada yarabo siri yarabo moho ye. Right here, right here. He a yarabo sata yarabo mahondo. He a yarabo sata yarabo haye. He a yarabasata yarabosiri yarabahata. In that name, Jesus. In that name, Jesus. In that name, Jesus. What do you want? What do you want? Ha yarabasata. Oh, 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 yarabasata yarabasando no no boho ye. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, go ahead, go ahead. Hasora ya ta yala basada. Hia yala basada. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus is in his house. Jesus is in this house.
Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Depression you have no right Depression, you have no rights. We bind your dirty work in the name of Jesus. You go back to hell where you came from, devil. You have no rights to hope. name. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, I'm a sponge. Oh, Go ahead, Carlos. Go ahead, Carlos. Jesus. 
What do you want? What do you want this morning? Let's all stand our feet just for a few minutes. I, I want to say something here. This is a time when the Spirit of God is stirring and moving. 
and this is not just for women folks this is for the body yes I know she called up the ladies and that's for a special thing but I, I, I'm going to tell y'all something church let me tell you what's going to happen in this church you better please listen to me I don't like what I'm fixing to say but it's, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to some of you are going to like and some of you might not like it but God is looking for real apostolic do y'all hear me all this stuff he's not looking for that if you don't put a grip on some things make up your mind I'm not saying buying into me I'm talking about buying into my vision yes there's only one visionary and that's the pastor and outside of that you're going to do your own thing and you're going to crash doesn't mean I'm Lord over you please understand I'm just hearing from God and you follow me as I follow Christ and you better know the difference between me following Christ and not following Christ but if you don't grasp some things and hold on to it I am convinced that God places people under a pastor in a church not everybody fits in this church I understand that and I'm not going to be negative but what God has sent here if you don't come to the grips and you're just a sideliner you're sitting on the outskirts and you're hooraying with pom poms in the pews or in what we call the bleachers but you're not in the game it's time to get in the game we have held on to pom poms long enough and it's time to jump in to the middle and the center of God's will And it doesn't matter if you've been here one month, two years, or ten years, or 15 years. You still got to plug in. And listen to this. That does not mean that you plug into your own agenda. You know what I'm looking for? Y'all ready for this? My wife will back it up. And I, I'm sure that some of you will be. I'm looking for faithfulness in this church. I'm looking for them when the prayer meetings are over, come in here, and when they're starting, you're in there. You're involved in the prayer meetings. I'm looking for faithful attendance. We had 28 people out. Members. 28. That's sad. 28 members absent last week on a Wednesday night. You know who I know that's faithful? Those that come on Wednesday night. God is looking for faithfulness. You want the will of God? You don't miss it. You be there and let God bless you. Come on, I'm talking to you now. I cannot pastor somebody staying home. I can't pastor them. But I tell you what I can do. I can tell you the will of God when you're here. And you need to hear the word of God preached and taught every service. Now, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen to the sidelanders. 
You're going to have turmoil in your home. You're going, to, you're going to feel the enemy come against your marriage. You're going to have struggles. And you're going to wonder, my God, why am I having struggles? And I'm going to tell you why you're having your struggles. Because you're not sold out for the call. Go ahead and let them, let them just pray and all that. But I'm talking to you right now. The ones, let him, he that hath ears, let him hear what the Spirit is speaking to the church. You want to have your troubles? Just be unfaithful and watch. You don't run your own boat, baby. You don't steer your own ship. It don't belong. That steering wheel don't belong to you. You don't tell God when you're coming. You don't tell God when you're not coming. And you don't stay home because Sally Sue had a toe ache and the whole family stay at home. Come on now. I'm talking to you. You know what? I see too many of them say, you know what? And I had a headache and I didn't feel good and I, I wanted to stay home. But you know what? I don't want to miss anything. Those are the ones that are plugging in. You know what? You would miss it if you'd stayed home today. You would have missed it if you stayed home today. You'd missed it if you'd stayed home today. How many of you say, I'm sick and tired of the mundane things. I'm tired of dry spiritual life. Raise your hands. Make up your mind today to plug in. Make up your mind to plug in. I'm looking for more. I'm looking for more than just Sunday morning Christians. I'm looking for more in this church than sideliners. I don't want you on the sidelines rooting for me with pom-poms. I want you involved in the game. Now raise your hands and say, God, I want to be a part. Come on. Come on, I want to be a part. You don't want hell in your home. You better be a part. You don't want struggles in your marriage. You better make up your mind that, that this is the day that the Lord has made, and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. I made up my mind I'm going to be faithful. I made up my mind I'm plugging in. I made up my mind that I'm going to live for God. Heart, soul, body, spirit, mind. And I'm not going to leave anything behind. And the Holy Ghost unction will be with you every step of the way. your voices all you people and shout unto God with a voice of triumph I am an overcomer put away your tinker toys put away your childish things put away the milk glass get the T-bone steak come on get the cream of the crop and watch God work.
We're fixing to take dominion over sickness in this church right now. If you want to join me, stand up. I'm fixing to speak some life into the situation. I am so sick and tired of doctors, and I'm so sick and tired of people having to run to the hospital. I'm so sick and tired of emergency rooms. I'm so sick and tired. It's wearing you out, and it's time to take authority over every sickness, every disease. I proclaim liberty in the house. I proclaim healing in the house. I bind every spirit that's attacked our children. I bind every spirit that's attacked mama. I bind every spirit that's attacked this church. Upon this rock, you're going to build your church in the gates of hell. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. I bind the spirit of fear. I take dominion and authority over sickness, over disease, over anything of harm and hurt. I feel faith arising. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It's going to be different. It's going to be different. It's not going to be like it was. The Bible says lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. I'm going to go a little further than that. Give me a miracle. Give me a miracle. Give me a miracle. to do is repent of your sins to get the Holy Ghost. That's all you have to do. And God throws them in a sea of forgetfulness never to remember them again. Church, let me tell you, the Holy Ghost is in this house. Respond to the Spirit. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise all over the house. Thank him, thank him, thank him for the works of the Holy Ghost. I'm so glad that God works in the last days and he works through your, he works through your problems. He works through your circumstance and he's going to bring you out. He's going to bring you out. Oh, isato lobo sata yikala baha. Hallelujah, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. In the name of the Lord. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Praise God. Isn't God good to us? Isn't God good to us? We came back from this conference. Go ahead, let him go. Man. We came back from this conference, this church. I'm going to tell you what I feel, what I feel now. I hope this is for everybody. One year from today, I prophesy. One year from today. 2019. This is going to be one of the best years that this church 
has ever seen. 2018. Y'all go ahead and write it down in ink on a piece of paper. Slide it in your billfold, whatever, or in your purse, you ladies, and go back at the same date one year later and see that I tell you, and you're going to say, surely God did it. That's why I'm telling you, it's time to plug in. It's time to be a part of it. I said a while ago, put away the tinker toys. Put away the childish things. This church needs to take a stair step. You're not a child anymore. God wants to grow you up. And it's time. It's time to make changes. Got us a new couple here today, and I'm so glad to have Sarah and Josh. Their family with us today. <clears throat> did I did I hear you correctly? Los Angeles, California? Whoa. And guess what? They have moved here. They're not just visiting kin folks here. And uh, check us out. They're gonna be a they're gonna be a goose monk that's gonna come down your back and, and say, Well, mm, I feel the will of God in it. So, we're glad to have you. Glad to have y'all here. And they, where's your beautiful little girl there? Oh boy. I, I was I was praying for her mama and praying for her. And she's grabbing my tie. She's checking my tie out. I thought, oh boy. She's waving at me already. It's good to have the little one with us too, isn't it? Give her a little hand. Hey, sweetheart, what's your name? Huh? Mercedes? Is that your name, Mercedes? Oh, that's a pretty name. Let's give Mercedes a hand. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Whoa. Who? Hope? Oh, she's already in there. Okay, we'll pull the blinds up a little bit here. We're going to baptize Hope in Jesus' name. Now, now, y'all listen to me. I know she's been baptized before, so don't get it like, wow, why does she want to get baptized? You know what? If somebody feels like they're dirty, let them take a bath in the name. What's wrong with that? It never said rebaptism was the wrong thing to do. It never said anything for it or never said anything against it. I'm for it if that's what someone wants. And sometimes people, when, re when they renew some things, they say, I want it all over again, everything. So you know what? We're going to do it in Jesus' name today. Praise God. Amen. Some of y'all want to get baptized in Jesus' name. Boy, it's the best time to do it. Hey, I want to tell y'all something. Jack Cunningham said this, and I want y'all to listen to this. I really, it blew my mind. He says, some of y'all want to look to the book of Acts and, wow, look at all the miracles. They're not happening like they are now. Do you know what he told me? He says, statistically, y'all listen to me? I need y'all's attention. He says, there is more miracles that's happen, happening in the world today in one day compared to to the whole Bible. Did y'all get that? More miracles happen in one day, statistically. People getting out of their wheelchairs, people being healed of cancer, people getting miracles. I'm talking about miracles. And we're going to see that around here. We're going to see Juanita get up out of her wheelchair and she's going to walk. I am believing that. I'm going to say it again. More miracles have happened in one day that's reported in the whole Bible in the apostles' days. You've got to understand that's, uh, that's over a period of 33 years of Jesus' time upon the earth. 
and more miracles in one day compared to the 33 years. So don't tell me God don't do miracles. Go for it. Reverend Judy Chandler will baptize her. Reverend Judy Chandler is going to baptize her. about something crazy. In one day in the book of Acts, 5,000 people came to the Lord. 5,000. 12 men did not do all the work in baptisms. I do not believe that. 12 men could not baptize 5,000 people in one day. Do the math. And God spoke to me and he said, I'm going to use you. And I said, God, I don't care what you use me to do. I'll do it. I will. I'll do it. And I told my husband, I hope you come ask me. She said, I want to be baptized. I said, I will baptize you. I will baptize you. Ladies, get your baptismal robes on. You want to get baptized? I'm in the mood. And we're going to baptize. Hope's been through a lot of stuff, and God's going to wash some things today. God's going to wash some things, Hopi. Depression has no right to the child of God. said, how do I turn? I said, I don't know. It's my first day on the job. <laughs> if I end up in here, somebody please come get me. Our heater's not working. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we baptize Hopi Guerrero in that name, Jesus. By the power of that blood, we call upon your name, Jesus, and we wash away every 
every memory, every thought, every depression. Father, we wrap it around, oh God, in the blood of Jesus. And we baptize you, Hopi, in Jesus' name. to the river oh, and I'm going to be buried thank you Jesus I want to show my heavenly father the man I used to be has finally died thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus
in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's worship. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. hands towards the baptistry and ask God to bless our new family. you're going to bless them, Jesus. The name, there's nothing like the name. Uh, 
uh, do y'all mind pictures being taken or not? Okay, okay. Take pictures of this, and I want to put it on Facebook. This is good. Uh, isn't God good to us? So great, so great. Okay, I'm going to baptize. Of course, I'm going to baptize one at a time now, okay? And then uh, what I'd like you to do is get on your, just, if you want to sit down, just sit down in the water. I know it's cold. Yeah, Man, look, there's going to be a little history here, isn't it? I was baptized in the cold water. Okay. I'm going to baptize Josh, right? Josh or Joshua? Josh. Okay. I want to say it right. I have one guy in here. I call him Joshua. And this is, hey, his name Josh. Okay. What I want you to do is hold this hand with your nose because we don't want to drown you. We want you to come up safe, okay? All right. I'm going to baptize Josh here today. Now, my wife says, uh, you've been baptized for? Yeah. And the title is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. He said, well, she went to show him out Jesus' name, baptism. Now, I want to explain something. I want to say why I was baptized in Jesus' name. First of all, he's the only one that died for me. This is a burial. So the Father didn't die. The Holy Ghost didn't die, but Jesus did die. So why not be buried with the one the rightfully one that died for me. Nobody else died, but he did. And that's why I'm baptized in Jesus' name. That's my answer for this. Good, simple Bible study. So I want you to hold this to my face here. By the authority of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I want you to hold on good because I'm going to put you under good, okay? <laughs> By the authority of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I baptize Josh in the name of Jesus Christ of his sins in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus go ahead and speak in other tongues as the Holy Ghost give utterance in the name of the Lord in Jesus name in Jesus name praise the Lord praise the Lord Jesus name in Jesus name praise God praise God wow I'm going to put a little sign up there, no more fishing anymore. Isn't it good? All right, Sarah, right? Well, Sarah's in our church. Praise God. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm going to grab this hand. That's the one I want. And I want you to hold your nose. <laughs> now, y'all from Los Angeles, California, y'all be used to that cold weather over there, huh? <laughs> Look at her like no pastor. No, no, no. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you all the way under, okay? That's the way. I'm, I'm not going to put a few clods of dirt on you. I'm going to put you all the way under. I'm going to baptize Sarah by the authority that's given to me in the name of Jesus Christ, and I'm going to baptize her in Jesus' name. Thank you. 